Thank you, Councillor Cole. I, I uh, wish to move an amendment to the Fianna Fáil motion on bus connects. Do I have 10 minutes? Sir? Let me begin by saying that I welcome the opportunity to address the House on the issues raised, particularly in light of this Government's serious commitments outlined in Project Ireland 2040, launched earlier this year, that includes the National Planning Framework and the 10-year National Development Plan. While I'm in agreement with the opening aspects of that motion, my agreement stops there. I am proposing an amendment to the motion call on the House to support it. I'm a little bit puzzled, to be honest, by the Fianna Fáil position here, and maybe they could explain it to us. Uh, my understanding was that they welcomed this particular project with open arms. I, I fully understand, but won't accept the amendment from Sinn Féin where there is a consistency which is predictable and that is something which I don't agree with but they have had a consistent line on uh, public transport and their amendment is condemning privatization I suspect uh, uh, possibly with mischief or forethought they're suggesting that, that this is some way a road to privatization where we're not going but at least it shows a consistency uh, which we know where we stand. The Fianna Fáil situation is deeply confusing. Bus Connects is a project that was welcomed by Deputy Troy, the spokesman on transport, as a project which it was vital to keep Dublin moving. That was his initial, initial re reaction to it. The Bus Connects project, he said, on the 12th of June, represents the opportunity to get the necessary investment underway. He was encouraging, and I welcome that encouragement. Uh, and I'm disappointed that uh, today we have a motion here which is obviously hostile to the direction in which Bus Connects is going. But ne nevertheless, I think the overall Fianna Fáil position is that they welcome the initiative, even though they want to see the consultations going ahead, which we all do. And when Deputy Chambers says that he feels the whole system is wrong, I think he's in direct conflict with other members of his party. In the, on the 2nd of July, John Lahart, who is, I think, their spokesman on um, Dublin and issues of this sort, Welcome Bus Connects launch today and with, indeed, his colleague in the Shannon, couldn't wait to get into a photograph holding the Bus Connects brochure high and his, it, so enthusiastic was his welcome for this particular project. He wanted to be identified with it. He wanted to say it was a great project. There he is behind him at the launch. The bus, connect, the bus connects nap maps with the proposed network big picture. This was something, this is what he issued himself. And this, this is something which he tweeted out. And I welcome the fact that Deputy Lahart was so enthusiastic about this project. I welcome the fact that he wanted to jump, jump, jump in the, to the photographs with it with Senator Jerry Hawken. Good luck to him. That was welcome. But today, we have the language for Fianna, Fianna, Fianna Fáil of chaos, of culling. And here's Deputy the Hart standing shoulder to shoulder with the culls. What he calls the culls. That's the new network behind him. But we're now talking about it as culling. And, I, and with today, we have the, the language of condemns from the opposition. Get your act together, guys. Decide which side you're on. You can't be on both sides on this one. It is difficult, I know. There's a consultation process going, going on, which has got a very welcome number of people coming forward with suggestions about changes, many of which are being regarded very seriously and are going to be considered seriously. And Deputy Hohi, when he says, you can't have a change like this overnight, and he repeated it twice. Deputy Hoy, there's no intention to do this overnight. That's the whole point of this consultation process. 2020. 
2020 is when we're going to see it happening. So let's see, let's see. Overnight is 2019, is it? Overnight. There is no announcement of an overnight change. That's the, that's the difference. What the announcement is this. There are going to be consultations. After those consultations have been considered in November, a new program is coming back. And they will be taken seriously. And there will be further consultations, obviously, after that. That is a serious business. And it is not to be taken as some sort of scare, scare Deputy, tactics. Please. It is not Deputy to be Harvey. taken as Without some sort of scare. Please. Deputy Harvey. This is Deputy Harvey, please. One more interruption and I'll have to ask you to leave. Thank you. So what we, are now, what we now here have is been a fall absolutely at sea with a spokesman, with a spokesman posing for photographs in front of this proudly, wanting to be identified it, with it, and the other members of the party coming in and saying there's this wrong, that wrong and the other wrong. There are problems, as there always are when you introduce a radical measure of this sort, but they're not insuperable and that's why the NTA is out there day and night with members of its staff and listening to your people, yourselves and others and what difficulties you have. And those which they would consider legitimate <coughs> will be remedied. The government is continuing to take steps to address the underinvestment in integrated public transport following the crisis where public investment was constrained to safeguard the provision of essential public services. Project 2040 rightly recognises that significant investment in public transport will be required to accommodate change and growth while also providing more choice for the travelling public and improving the quality of people's lives. Together with the National Transport Authority's Transport Strategy for the Greater Dublin Area 2016 to 2035, Project Island 2040, through the National Development Plan, provides for the planning and delivery of public transport infrastructure and services over the short, medium and long term. Recent reports show that approximately 70% of people travelling into Dublin City each morning do so by sustainable transport. Each day, the majority, that is 57% of all public transport trips, equating to 136 million passenger journeys annually, use the bus for their commute. Because of these numbers, it's no surprise that the bus has to be the main component of the solution to address our current congestion problem and to meet our future transport needs. One of the flagship investments to be delivered within Project Island 2040 and the 10-year NDP horizon is Bus Connects for Island Cities, commencing rollout in Dublin. Bus Connects is a key investment priority for public transport to address congestion in Dublin in the short to medium term. A radical improvement in the bus system can deliver a positive change in public transport performance across all areas of the Dublin region within a relatively short time. The objective of Bus Connect is to deliver a bus system that will enable more people to travel by bus than ever before and allow bus commuting to become a viable and attractive choice for employees, students, shoppers and visitors. Bus Connect will include continuous bus lanes as far as is practicable along the busiest bus corridors along with a network of park and ride facilities at key locations. It will also involve 11 orbital routes that will operate on a 15-minute frequency or better in the north, south and west of the network area. Enhanced and expanded services delivering 27% more capacity, which as far as customers are concerned can only be a good thing and likewise for transport workers. Major improvements to deliver next generation ticketing and passenger information system. A simple route identification system and fare structure and a fleet transition to lower emissions. All this means that the number of people living within 400 metres of a bus service that operates every 10 minutes or better will increase by 35% from 480,000 to 650,000. There will be an increase of 10% in fleet serving Greater Dublin Area with significant increases in weekend and post-peak services. Indeed, Bus Connect is not <coughs> just about buses. In fact, this plan will provide much needed cycling facilities and make it easier and more attractive to cycle around the city region. Given the increasing number of cyclists across Dublin, there is an imperative to provide safe and segregated cycling facilities where possible. NTA have calculated that over 200 kilometres of cycle tracks lanes will be either built or current lanes improved upon. A better cycling network is good for all transport users. It avoids cyclists sharing bus lanes with buses and will remove many of the conflicts between buses, cars and cyclists. The House will be aware that the NTA published its proposals 
for the core bus corridor project report setting out the outline of 16 radial routes together with 200 kilometres of cycling lanes into and out of the city. In October of this year, NTA expect to publish the detailed and considered proposals for each of the 16 corridors. At that stage, a full con public consultation process will commence. This will allow people to provide feedback and their thoughts on the proposals, and the NTA will fully engage with people along the corridors and surrounding areas. Thank you very much, Minister. Um